Hello everyone and welcome back. Let's have a look on how to create this wicker basket procedurally. So I'm starting with a line and resampling it and from there we can use a sweep node set to round tube and the surface type to rows to create these horizontal sections. I am also creating a profile with the scale gram controls. Now I am adding normals pointing inwards with the polyframe node. My goal here is to create that wavy effect along the rows. So in this point pop I am switching between the incoming normals and inverted normals for every other point with the modulo node. You can also use vex of course. Then we can just use the peak to transform the points along the normals. Converting the geometry to curves and applying some blur to smooth out the shapes. In this case I am also applying some random B scale to the shapes for the next sweep. We just need to promote it to a point attribute. Now transforming every other primitive so they are opposite to each other. And finally doing the sweep. For the columns you can compute the normals and add uh, an up attribute so that when, when you duplicate the curves with the sweep node you will have the correct orientation. Here using the ribbon preset. And we can now combine everything. Now for this part start by isolating the last prim, convert it to a curve and do a series of sweep nodes. But in this case we want to add some twist to it to create the desired look. As for the handle we can deform an initial line creating a ramp profile along the curve view attribute and transforming it on the y axis. Then sweep it with a few columns and some twist. So now we have four curves, let's split them into two streams and using again the same vex code to deform based on curve view, we can recreate the original form. Then just add more lines and mesh it. Ok, so far the bottom part is a bit tricky, but not complex at all. We start with a circle, convert it to a curve and extrude it in to create room for the center part. Grouping all the edges, then shrinking the selection with a group expand, convert it to lines and grouping the start points of each curve. And now we want to create the desired shape in the center, in this case we'll use a grid, slightly transformed, and use it as a second input in the fuse. By the way, thanks a lot to Aslak from CG Wiki's Discord for the help on this part. In the fuse node make sure you set the mode to closest target point and don't actually fuse the point since we want to bridge these shapes. Next we need to create a group for the side shapes, in this case I manipulated the normals to do that, splitting it into two streams and using the sort and add nodes to bridge the curves. I am also grouping the center points in the second stream so I can transform them later. Using the polypath nodes to make unique primitives per curve and also smoothing a bit the shapes. As you can see I am also doing a soft transform on that group I saved earlier. Then I am duplicating the curves with a sweep node and finally mesh it. On this side I am creating the circular pattern with the same extrude but this time with a few subdivisions. Then selecting every other vertex so I can promote it to an edge group ending up with the circular pattern. Converting it to lines and making sure the prims are correctly sorted. Using again the same point pop approach to create the wavy or zigzag effect, but this time the normals are facing up and down. Picking and then blurring a bit the shape as done before, doing the same transform offset and finally sweeping the shapes with a round tube. And if we merge everything it should align correctly. Alright, there you have the finished asset, as always you can grab the file from my Patreon and thank you everyone that joined so far. See you in the next one.